Welcome all, this is Madan. Today I am going to show you how we can use data protection API provided by ASP.NET Core to protect or to encrypt and decrypt our information in the application. So here I have created a MBC project here and in order to use the data protection API at first we need to do what we need to do is we need to add a service called add data protection and this data protection api encrypts and decrypts our information so this is the first steps step here we need to do services that add data protection after that we can use the data protection provider and data protector to protect uh, uh, to encrypt and decrypt the information that we want to so in order to use the data protection api we need to inject i data protection provider in the constructor and uh, by using the provider we can create a protector of the type i data protector so here i have created a private field of i data protector and uh, uh, I have injected I data protection provider in the constructor and uh, from by using the provider I have created the protector and protector equals provider dot create protector and here we can pass the secret key or the key to decrypt to encrypt and decrypt the information and in this project uh, I am not using database or anything so I have created a private uh, list of employee uh, to hold the uh, to hold few employees uh, in memory and uh, in the constructor I have initialized that list with the, with these employees and uh, uh, I'm gonna use the, uh, this employee throughout this class now let's comment this for now and uh, in the index action we have passed the, the list of the employees to the view here and uh, i also i have created a model called employee here as you can see employee model and it has the field like id and display id and full name and in the display id i have attribute called not mapped because i don't want to create the column for this display id instead i want the id to be encrypted and uh, display the encrypted id in the view but not I, but i don't want to pass that encrypted id to the database and uh, not mapped not in entity framework core doesn't allow the field to be created as a column when we update when we run the migration so this is our model and this is our controller and this is just the simple plain list of employee and i am passing those employee to the view so let's go to the view index action and here this view is a very simple uh, what we have done is i have created a table here and then loop over the model since this view uh, accepts the list of the employee and uh, i have displayed the full name of the employee and uh, uh, I have created a link that points to the detail action of the controller and pass the actual ID of the employee to that uh, action. So this is the detail action of the uh, home controller and uh, our index view has a link that calls that detail action with the id of the employee so this is all simple here. Now below I have created a two form here. Uh, this form and here another form so both form are same and uh, this form uh, calls the encrypt action and uh, sends the data to the action using the post method and it has a one input field whose name is data and submit button and another form this calls the decrypt action of the controller home controller and it has a field named data and a button to decrypt the information so in order to post the method uh, post the data from these two form we need to encrypt and one encrypt and one decrypt method in the home controller which accept data parameter so i have created other two action here encrypt and decrypt with data as a parameter and our view looks like this so let's refresh this and uh, here if I point over the detail action then on the lower left you can see the link here at this point we can see that the localhost 5001 home 
details slash one and home details slash two and home details slash three and what we are doing is we are displaying the actual id of the employees so in some cases we may not want to do that whenever i click on this detail then in the url we can see the actual id one what if you want to encrypt this information and doesn't enter want to hide the id from the user so we are going to make that happen now so in order to do that we need to encrypt our id from this list so let's uncomment this and then what this does is it select it loops iterates through this employee employees dot select x goes to and it sets the x dot display id value to the protector this is our protector and protector has a protect and unprotect method protect method encrypts the information and unprotect method decrypts the information so it sets the value of the display id to the encrypted value by using protector dot protect and we pass the x dot id that is the employee id of the each employee uh, throughout the list so for the first time it sets the id will be one for the second time id will be two and for the third time id will be three and since we are using the select here we don't need to use the loop so the protect method expect us to pass the string and we have converted this id to the string so now display id contains the value that is encrypted now once we have a display id in our index view what we can do is instead of passing this id when the user click on detail button we can pass display id display id so let's save this and wait for the server to reload and now let's refresh the application and now you can check the url on the lower left corner of the screen now it is the encrypted text so if i click on this then now we don't see the id here so it is the encrypted text uh, encrypted value corresponding to the actual id of the employee now we have hidden the real id uh, and uh, pass and replace uh, the encrypted text uh, in place of id here so if i click on another employee then we see the encrypted text here if I click on another then we see the encrypted detail here and uh, another thing is whenever the user click on detail then the encrypted text is passed to the uh, details action of the home controller but in order to find the employee what we need to do is we need to uh, get the corresponding actual id from that encrypted value by decrypting that information so here in the detail action the encrypted id is coming from the um, view and uh, in order to extract the original id what we can do is uh, we can do protector dot on protect and pass our id and uh, uh, the id of our employees integer type so we need to cast that to the integer so this protector dot on protect decrypts the information now from the list we can do employees dot foster default and uh, find out the uh, employee that belongs to the id and then in the view we can pass the employee so as we can see whenever the user click on any link then the encrypted information is passed through the url but we get the actual employee here so in this way we can use a protect and unprotect method of the protector which is of type i data protector uh, in order to encrypt and decrypt our information in asp.net core and here i have the form in the uh, index action of the home controller and what did what this field does is this encrypts the information and this de decrypts the information so let's try to encrypt something here let's say hello and i want to encrypt this and this is the encrypted result of the hello now if i want to decrypt this information then i can paste it here and click on decrypt and it gives us the original value so how this works whenever i click on the encrypt and send the data then what we do is we do the protector dot protect data since we are redirecting to the index action we can't store data in the view back and here we are using temp data result and whenever i uh, fill up the field and click the decrypt then that information is sent to this decrypt method and uh, that we use protector dot on protect 
data to get the original data from that encrypted information and we pass that data into we store that data into the temp result and redirect the user to the index action and here below the form i have used temp data result to display the encrypted and decrypted information so in this way we can use data protection api provided by asp.net core and this can be very useful in some situations like uh, uh, in most of the application we see that the id part is encrypted and this uh, uh, allow us to make our application uh, more secure so this is it for now friend and if you like this video then please share and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day